Another great video for you guys today. We're gonna to show you how to sex your ball pythons two different ways, and we're gonna show you a couple other updates, maybe you have some antics, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. It's male. Male. Snake Bar Exotics. Snake Bar Exotics. Send us a little care package. Yeah, man. Those like stickers. Those feel like stickers. You never know. Can I just say real quick that it's so awesome that you guys have been reaching out. We've been getting like tons of messages and even some people are sending like handwritten letters talking about how they're enjoying the channel and stuff. And it really means a lot to us. Um, sometimes it feels like you're just talking to a camera and then you're not really getting yeah, anything done. So. <laughs> It's awesome that we're getting this response, so thank you guys. Yes, thank you very much. And thank you guys for responding to me a lot about uh, the stickers that we sent out or things like that, so we really appreciate it. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Ah, wow, check this out. Sneak I've Sneak. seen this one before. The dog That's cool. Before. We got this one. Business card. A business card. Super cool. So thank you. What's on the back of the business card? Ah. Focus, focus, yeah. Focus? It's not focusing, man. Nathan <laughs> and Patricia. Snake Bar Exotics, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Awesome guys, thank you. And uh, yeah, hope you guys all got your stickers from us. That was a lot. <laughs> So today we're gonna to explain how to sex your ball python. We have one of our males here that we know is a male and we're gonna show you the two different ways that we do it. Uh, there's one way it's called popping, um, or at least that's what it's referred to, where you actually take the snake and you hold it. Its tail is the most common way to do younger ball pythons. Um, and you put your thumb against right up behind the vent and you force the some blood into from the tip of the tail, roll it down like a like a uh, tube of toothpaste kind of. You roll it down in and you invert the hemipenes out of the vent, which means they stick up out, there's two of them, and they fill up with blood and you'll see that there'll be little red um, points kind of, whereas a female will be maybe just two scent glands and they might pop out a little bit, but they don't turn red, they'll stay pink. Um, then also the other way is using probes. And here's a set of probes here. And I will, I guess, show you them. So, nice and smooth. <laughs> so, we'll also be showing you how to do that. So first I'm gonna show you how to pop with our Pastel Lori Hidden Gene Wilma. You don't wanna do this or muck with them too much when they eat, so make sure that they have fully digested. He's a beautiful little boy. And we're gonna give this a go. Now, many of you know that Ryan's a little better than me at this kind of stuff, but we're still gonna give this a go. <laughs> so, so what you wanna do is you can see the vent here, and I'm gonna put my thumb just right behind it, just a couple scales back, and then I'm gonna put my pointer finger here underneath, and this is how I kinda get peed in the face sometimes, so you're gonna wanna watch out a little bit. But you put your pointer finger here, and then you roll your thumb up this way and you pinch down a little bit with this thumb here. So, okay. So, push up and you can see hemipene there. I don't know how well you can see that. Sticking up. Was it okay? Yeah, I mean, you saw it a little bit. So as you can see, you saw a little hemipene stick out there. And this one's a little bit big, and so it can be a little bit difficult, especially for me that I'm not as good at it as Ryan, so don't feel bad if you're not good at it. But it's a little hard to get the hemipenes to invert, um, or at least get them both to invert, so. So now I'm gonna probe, and one of the things that you have to remember is to pick the right size probe. For these, this girl and boy, we're gonna use one of our smaller probes because they're pretty young still. On this one, you can see that it has, 
a small ball on the end there. And they're gonna go in nice and gentle. What you do is you clean them with an alcohol pad, which I already did, which I showed you guys. And I'm gonna take a little petroleum jelly and put it on the tip there. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta kinda control them a little bit. Come on. You don't want a lot on there, but just a little bit enough to give it a, make it a smooth transition. And with a female, it's not gonna go in terribly far, about three scales. So you're gonna hold it, get a good grip, and you don't wanna go right in the middle, you're gonna wanna go down the side, one of the two sides. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna hit a scent gland rather than a hemipene. So a hemipene, it's gonna go in deeper because it's gonna follow along the hemipene, but a scent gland, it'll just hit the edge there. And I'm just gonna readjust her a little bit because she's trying to run. So you're gonna hold her nice and gentle, and you're gonna wanna stick this in and just come down the side here. And you can see, just trying to pull out of my hand, as you can see, it, you put your thumb here, when you pull out, it's only about that far. And if you can see, and that's yeah. about three or four scales. Now, with a male, it's much different. And I'm going to, real quick, alcohol wipe this off. So I did the beforehand. And of course it's warm in our snake room, as usual. She thinks she's getting away, but she's not. What do you wanna do? You wanna be around my neck maybe? Maybe you'll hang out up there and not go anywhere. Okay, so for the male, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you hold them, same deal, nice and gentle. You stretch them out there. And again, you wanna go down one of the sides, not the middle. So nice and gentle, you just wanna go down the side and you just push it in nice and easy until it stops and then you put your finger there and you can see the difference in how deep it went. So that's a male and the female only goes up to there. Male, female. But that is how you probe a ball python. Especially, I just want you guys to be aware that it's uh, good to have somebody else with you to help you out, if it's especially your first time um, or if they're really, really active and that way you don't hurt the animal and you also don't get hurt, which is probably unlikely with a ball python, but you don't wanna hurt the animal. That's more importantly. And that's how you sex them. So again, just to remind you, or just to review, when you're popping, you be gentle and it's like a tube of toothpaste and you're gonna invert the hemipenes out of the vent um, by rolling it forward. You do that roll action. Ryan once tried to teach me by using my thumb so I can feel it, real weird experience. I wouldn't suggest it, but <laughs> <Love it. laughs> But if it doesn't have uh, the red in the hemipenes where you can actually see the blood coming up, then it's most likely a female. So you might wanna use go and see somebody do this in person to get a real good feel of it. And then when you're probing the female, you wanna go in the vent nice and gently but a female goes back about three or four scales, two or three or four scales, somewhere around there. And a male is around eight scales. So it's significantly different. And it's not hard to tell if it's a male or female with probing. But remember, be gentle and go in the right way. And I would suggest to protect the animals to utilize somebody that has done this before and watch them in person. But that's how you do it. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate you watching our videos. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you do that, make sure you turn on notifications so you can get updates on all our videos that we put out. We do actually do a lot of giveaways and stuff and I'd hate for you to miss out on that. And also give us a like and a comment because it really helps us get out there in YouTube world. Thanks. Look good. Look
great. So you just pop this edge in here. <laughs> once he wants to work with me here. More than that, can you grab her? Oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> yep. She's just was almost off my back. <laughs> you, you got this. I got it. Okay. So 